So you go to this landscape, and you want to snap some boxes onto this landscape in the camera view. How do you go about it? Okay, so we've got these boxes here. You can barely see them. And of course, you can just use the snap drag tool where you connect the points to snap the box to the mountain in Modeler. But uh, that's not really convenient, or that's not really possible in layout. So, well, what do we do here? So, go to this layer, the mountain layer, go to construct, reduce polys, just to speed things up, 0.75 and choose points to nulls, save that. That will save the nulls to a live view scene. So all of these points will have a null. Delete the temporary object, send the object to layout. And I'll just move this out of the way. This camera and position it in the zero zero zero. If you already have your camera view, then you can go to frame minus one and set the position to zero zero zero, uh, and go from there. Okay, so we'll just zoom in on this and change the grid. So now we can see that the camera is more. On the size of these objects. These objects are one meter in XY set. Um, actually, I'm not going to move this one. I'm going to take um, going to take these objects here, the boxes that is, and I'm just going to create a selection set for it. B and um, I guess I can go to the motion properties and say parent to the camera. So I guess that should go for all of them. Yeah, now all are parented to the camera and um, I can move these guys down here, go to the camera, move it as I please, and they will follow. So let's go to the camera view. And uh, I'm going to find the, uh, well, the view that I want. Let's just change the grid size. It will make it easier to uh, move around. Now, if you change it too much, these will disappear, but they will just disappear from the camera view. Not they're going to be there, just not visible. Um, so don't worry about that. Okay, so let's say I have my camera view and I want to place these boxes here and there. So uh, let's go to the objects. And let's move these. You can see how fast they move now. That's because of the grid uh, resolution I have. So you can change the grid resolution, and they will move slower, depending. So that's a good one, I guess. Um, so let's say this is all the different objects that you want to position. Uh, but first you need to be able to snap them to something and that's why we exported uh, the points, uh, converted the points to the nulls. So let's say load, load items from scene and it's called um, tree bang. And it's going to import 3000 nulls. It's going to take about 10 seconds. Funny. 
So, well, Mutex should be able to create a function that does this very, very easily, but, well, they haven't. So, anyway, uh, let me just show you what's going on. So, the nulls are here, you can barely see them. You can change the grid size if you want to see them more clear, but anyway. Uh, also gives you an indication to what grid size you're on. Um, so what I'll do here now is so I'll just move this one down. Let's say I want to snap it to the top here, right? So I'll just make um, sure that this X is about in that position. So right about there. Then I'll click the X here and drag and while I drag hold down alt and it snaps to that point way over there that's pretty cool so you can now take the second object that I want to snap and let's say I want to snap it right here so I'll click on that X drag hold down alt and there you go so this goes for all the objects of course And uh, it's very accurate. Click, drag, hold down Alt, and it snaps. Cool thing about this is that um, it snaps to the closest point, so you don't have to be too accurate. So drag, and hold down Alt, and it snaps. And well, let's just take this one right here, drag, hold an alt, snap. And you can even move this. Well, now it's kind of like uh, let's just press the X, drag and hold an alt just to move it in the set. Um, did that work? I'm going to move it in the set manually actually. What, 222? No, 101. Still way too much. 33. Okay, there we go. So, uh, you can still move this, of course, and hold it, hold it down and snap it. Oh, actually, that was the closest one. So, okay, let's move it down here. It can be behind the object, so it doesn't matter. So that's good. So drag, snap, and there you go. So yeah, that's how you snap in layout.